Hi everyone, Ramesh here. In this video, I am going to show you how to use Spring provided REST template class to consume RESTful web services. So we are going to basically develop a Spring REST client to consume Spring Boot Crew RESTful web services. In one of my previous video tutorials, that is Spring Boot MySQL JP Hibernate RESTful Code API tutorial, we have created a Spring Boot RESTful web services and we have tested it using Postman REST client provided by Google and we haven't written a REST client to consume Spring Boot Crew REST Pool Web Services but in this video I'm gonna show you how to develop you know Spring REST client to consume Spring Boot Crew REST Pool Web Services and we are going to use Spring provided REST template class to call Spring Boot Crew REST APIs alright so let us see how to develop Spring REST client step by step to consume Spring Boot Crew REST APIs alright without further ado let's get started so this is a spring boot crew restful web services project this project we have created in my previous video tutorial and we have basically created five rest apis let me quickly review what are the rest apis that we have created and exposed in my previous video so we have created get all users rest api get user by id create user update user and delete user so these are the five rest endpoints we have created and exposed in my previous video and in this video i am going to write a rest client to consume these you know restful web services for that let's quickly create a class and let's name it as a rest client okay and let's quickly create a main method so here i am going to first list out the endpoints so for example so look at here this is the endpoint rest endpoint to get all users okay and let's create a few all the uh, rest endpoints So these are basically uh, endpoint URLs and we are going to consume these REST endpoints. Okay, so let's quickly create here a REST template class object. REST template. Okay, and what we will do here is we create a separate method to consume each REST API. Okay, so here I'm going to write a method private static wide and I'm going to give a name as call get all users API okay and inside that we are going to write the logic to call get all users rest API okay so so look at here how I am doing so first we need to create a HTTP header okay so let's quickly create an object of HTTP header okay and uh, client is expecting a JSON from the REST API okay client is expecting JSON in a response for this API so for that what we need to do is we need to set accept attribute right here call the accept and we need to pass a JSON because client is expecting JSON in a response so what we need to do here is we need to call arrays dot as list and here we need to pass um, media type media type and that is application JSON okay so basically client expecting a JSON from the REST API okay now what we'll do we'll call uh, HTTP entity right in a constructor we need to pass multi-value map right so here what I will do I will pass key as parameters and value as header okay so basically we are passing header to uh, HTTP entity here it's pretty simple right and next what we'll do we'll call 
a rest template method here mm. so let me make this static so that i can able to access static field from the static method so this is the rest template dot we are going to call exchange method and we are going to pass the url here so url here is get all users api and the method here is uh, http method that is get method and request entity that is entity and response type we are expecting json as a string so let's pass a string class here and look at here the exchange method returns a response entity right so let's go ahead and let's create a response entity here and pass string and this is the result right we are storing result of exchange method in a result and we will just print the result okay so this completes our you know rest client to call get all users rest api now let's go ahead and let's run the spring boot application and let us test get all users rest api now the spring boot application is up and running on default embedded tomcat server on port 8080 now let's run the rest client so here we need to call the method from the main method right so main method here is a main method so right click run as java application yeah so look at here in the console you can see we got a response or you have objects from the rest api all right so this is how we write a rest client to consume get all users rest api and we got 200 as status code so let's go ahead and let's quickly create a rest client to call get user by id rest api so look at here the endpoint url so this api requires id as a parameter right so what we'll do quickly create a method here private static wide and let's give a method as method name as call get user by id so you can give any name that you want id api and here we need to pass the id so for that i'm going to create a parameter of type map so here integer is a id value okay i'm going to call as param and this is the hash map okay and we need to put the entry here so key is id and value is i am going to call a user i am going to retrieve a user with id 1 okay and now what we will do we have a rest client instance right so rest template dot get for object so just call get for object api and here we need to pass the url so url is get user by id api and response type is user dot class and this is the param that's it and here what we need to do is we need to get a user object right user user okay and here I, what i will do i will just print the user object okay so let's go and let's run this program again and let us test whether this client works or not run as in java application so our spring boot application is already up and running so what is the error here user not found with id 1 okay so look at here the error response we got user not found with id 1 so let's pass a different id here i'm going to pass 19 so again I run the program yeah we got a user with id 19 okay demo is the user so now we have successfully developed a rest client to call get user by id rest api let's go and let's quickly create a rest client to call create user rest api so let's create a method again private static wide 
and let's call a method name as call create user api you can give any name that you want and here let's quickly create a user object okay and we have a rest template object so let's go ahead and let's call its method for uh, post for entity and here we need to pass so there are many overloaded methods right so we need to call appropriate method here and here we need to call let's pass the url here so the url is uh, create user api endpoint url and the request is user object and the response type is user dot class okay and let's store the result of this method in a user object this is the user2 and let's go ahead and let's print this user2 okay so what we have done we have created a user object and we have called post for entity method on rest template and we have just passed this user object here and we just store the result of post for entity in a entity a response entity object and we just uh, you know printed the user object okay it's pretty simple now let's quickly go ahead and let's write a rest client for update and delete user stpa so let's write the rest client to call update user stpa private static wide and this is call update user api and then here basically we need to pass a id right so i'm going to create a map here and this is id 20 and here i'm going to create object of the user that i want to update so this is the user i'm going to update so i'm going to change from ramesh to ram and further to jado and ramesh to ram at the gmail.com so this is the object that i'm going to update okay i'm going to name rename it update user something like this and then again call rest template dot post for entity and again pass the url here update user api endpoint url and this is update user object and this is the user class object okay and post for entity expecting a response at entity as a response so let's copy this and let's print this user to the console so this is how basically we update a user so again this is the straightforward method so let's create a method here call delete user api and here again we need to pass id right so for that i'm going to just copy this map here and again call rest template it provide a delete method and here we need to just pass the url that is delete user api and here param that's all and delete method returns wide all right so here we no need to print anything so this will delete the user from the database so in a call update user api uh, here we need to do a small correction so we have called post for entity method on rest template to call update user rest api right so we basically need to call a put method here okay and let me quickly replace with the put method and here we need to pass a param here instead of user class and this put method returns wide so let me again remove the return here okay 
now let's go ahead and let's run this rest client and let us test all these rest web restful web services all right so let me run this rest client right click run a java application and look at the look at the logs here so this is the response of get all user rest api and this is the response of get user by id api and this is a 200 response for creating a user rest api and this is updating a user rest api and this is the delete user rest api so look at here the rest endpoints http delete http put and this is the http post and this is the http get and this is the http get get all users all right so we have tested all the spring boot cool rest apis using spring rest client so this is how basically we develop spring rest client using rest template class right i hope you found this video tutorial useful subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified and i am going to host this source code on my github repository and i will provide a link in the description so that you can anytime you can or download source code, source code from my github repository and you can refer it alright thanks for watching i will see you in the next video